this video, I'm going to be sharing my DIY fall office and desk decor and organization. This is going to share three functional, transitional, and cohesive tips to keep your room organized and inspired this fall. First, we're going to start with function. So swapping out what keeps me inspired is my magazine. So I will have a fall lineup there. And then the next thing is my catch all mail system. This is really cute. You guys can watch my DIY video that I have previously for these clipboards and I will have those printables down below for you as well. I picked up this great calendar at Staples for only $15. It's trimmed in gold so it stays with my theme and it's perfect for keeping me organized with my current tasks for the month and also has a note section to keep me planning ahead. It's great because you can fill out each month accordingly and it is still really cute and functional. I also always switch out my planner to keep it with a more fall theme. I will have a whole new video on my current planner setup, but I make my homemade dividers and cut out some pretty fall paper to make them. I also swap out my current washi tape with some fall themed colors and it just keeps me inspired. I also have these really cute printables that I made for you guys. They are a fall bucket list and then a thankful, grateful, and blessed printout. They are available down below. They're perfect for tacking up on the wall or an inspiration board, a vision board. I have a cork board right next to my desk where I like to take clippings from different magazines or things I've collected that stay with my theme and it looks really pretty all together. Speaking of themes, my theme for fall is always very fanciful, kind of fairy tale, and I like to pull characters from Disney movies that kind of resonate with the theme. So like Alice in Wonderland comes up a lot, which you will see throughout this video, but it's important to stay on theme, especially in a creative space. So there's always a time and place for those cheeky Halloween and fall decorations, but I like to keep things very clean for my office. So it's a little bit of a vintage apothecary botanical thing going on very jewel toned colors and keeping it a little bit rustic um, very similar to like an Alice in Wonderland or Peter Pan thing going on which you'll see throughout this will be very personal to you if you want to stick with a orange theme, a black and white theme. This is supposed to be transitional, so it's things that you can just easily swap in and out per season. You don't need to spend a lot of money. Just find clippings from magazines. You can swap out different pens and pencils or your washi tape like I mentioned before. Um, but it's really going to be personal to you. I also really love Mackenzie's Child. That's a great style for this if you like the theme that I'm going with. And the last tip I wanted to share with you guys is to create a cohesive and inspiring space. So I'm going to swap out my spring and summer art prints. These are ones that I had done. I'm an illustrator if you guys did not know. And I'm going to do a Alice in Wonderland themed print. Now you guys can find free printables on Pinterest. There are tons of different things that you can find online. But I decided to paint my own. I also have the bunny or the hare who's always late. So it just kind of ties in my theme together giving my walls a little bit of pizzazz and color. Also for your desk, I like to swap out my picture frames. I know I'm a little weird like that, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. I keep everything kind of tone on tone on my desk so that way it's not distracting. Now this is where you can add your own personal touches. I have a couple things I want to add. So I have this cute little gold skull candle and I'm going to be switching out a few little tchotchke pumpkins, but they are very on theme for me. So they're Mackenzie's Child and then these velvet pumpkins. And then I have some vintage playing cards. I thought it would fit perfectly with my theme. Another great way to give yourself some decor pieces that are very inexpensive are to find some of your favorite holiday cards and just display them in your office. I also will always have a cozy blanket in my office as well as my Erin Dunn trick-or-treat mug. How cute is this? I love Erin Dunn. I uh, actually collect her mugs. Then you also can have some cozy candles. These are just little things that kind of add that extra touch to your space. I will also link down below my favorite fall productivity music playlist for you guys. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more of how I'm decorating for fall or organization videos, please let me know down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.